Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to paint on a landscape by using a master material on Unreal Engine 5.7. Ok, let's just start by creating a landscape. Here I think you can see a landscape here. Just click it and uh, I'm going to create a... Uh, yeah, I just need a simple one. Since we are just concentrating on uh, landscape uh, painting. Ok, let's just create it and... Uh, uh, do some um, you know sculpting here and there uh, yeah okay something like this because I don't want uh, this uh, look really plain I don't want that so that's why I create something like this okay leave it okay now create a, we already created a landscape here this one so now what we want is a master material so we could easily uh, create a master material so before that uh, you need two textures here uh, so I got this material from Ambient CG so this one is uh, ground texture uh, and this one is uh, some uh, you know pebble and uh, soil so we got uh, normals and uh, displacement and uh, roughness here so we got two textures okay now we want to create a master material let's just create a master material by creating a material here and let's rename it as master material and as always what we are going to do is we'll create a uh, material instance at the same time so we don't want to do the changes always just get into the master material and do the changes there Bef uh, for that we'll create a material instance so we could uh, control all the material uh, controllers here in the instance so this is a usual process now we'll just get uh, into the master material and uh, let me just open it and uh, drag and drop the materials here this one and uh, it's totally upon to you we can uh, we could use uh, more than these two two textures it's totally upon to you for the sake of this video i'm just considering taking only two textures here i'm just selecting all these textures and uh, here change it to shared bra okay so put it here now let me just okay so this is a master material i am going to do uh, a change like uh, we'll select this one and we will uh, click here and uh, just type nan8 nan since we have to control the displacement values so i am going to enable test isolation and make this one 0 0.3 sorry 0 0.3 and uh, mark this one as well and uh, okay we're good to go now you have to uh, make this one use material attribute okay that moment you mark this one it will shrink to something like this okay and now what you want to add is a uh, landscape layer blend this one is very important since we have to add uh, multiple textures so this one is used for adding multiple textures okay so you'll see a plus sign here just tap on uh, the plus sign and you'll see a layer name i'm going to put a name here text one and again select one and uh, again one more time plus and uh, type uh, text two so it will appear here so we can control or add a lot of textures here not only just one two or something like that we just can, can add, literally add hundreds of uh, name here so now once again we what we want to add is uh, make material at uh, attribute So you created a make material attribute here so we have to connect all these nodes to here and one more time we just have to control control C control V duplicate it and yeah 
Yeah, that's it. Now we'll connect all the node here. This one is the ambient occlusion. So blue channel has the ambient occlusion. Just connect the blue channel here, normal to normal, and uh, this this one is the displacement. Uh, red channel has the displacement. So I'm going to connect the displacement here, and uh, you have to connect the base color here. Same goes here. Just connect this one here. Normal to normal. Uh, displacement value. Red channel has the displacement, and uh, this one has the uh, ambient occlusions. So now we'll just connect these nodes to landscape layer blend and connect this one to make material attribute. So actually we are good to go. But before that I am considering one more thing. Uh, we'll just add a texture coordinate and uh, hold the M on the keyboard and you'll get the multiply node and uh, hold one on the keyboard and click and you'll get uh, this one and we will convert to parameter we'll rename it as text one ctrl okay we have to copy paste bring that here and uh, rename this one as text uh, two ctrl okay i'm going to connect this one to here and uh, we'll connect Now, I'm going to add a random value here. I'm going to add the here three, here three as well. We'll uh, do the changes later. Okay, so, and uh, we need to make this more neat and tidy. So for that, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do, select all this and uh, control C sorry C on the keyboard and you'll this one you'll get this one and uh, name it so again select all this one and uh, C and uh, rename it as 2 so you created uh, two textures uh, in the master material just apply and save don't forget to save now select this the land select the landscape and uh, drag here on the right section you will see the landscape material and uh, what we want to do is we'll just drag and drop the not the master material we created the instance just drag and drop the instance here and uh, you will see this foggy uh, misty uh, material here so uh, don't bother just select that and here select the landscape and uh, select the paint here and here create layers, layers from assigned material click that and you'll set uh, two textures here now just select this texture and uh, plus uh, select uh, choose the folder where you created the textures and just rename it as yeah I am considering uh, creating a random name and that's it and one more time select this one and uh, plus sign and uh, select the landscape and again okay so we created the textures select that one and you can paint it over here see now you can yeah paint the textures here landscape texture so you can see the UV uh, the repetition is too small so we have to do the changes anyway we will do that later now I am going to select this one and uh, uh, paint this one here as well okay now I am going to uh, 
do the changes here by opening the instance here we already created the texture controllers here so we can easily control the textures here yeah something like this okay so that's why i created the instance there right now simply we can paint uh, the texture here but you will see the tiling repetition here i know i am not going to do any uh, i am not going to fix that thing here because uh, i already created a video regarding the uh, solution for repetition tiling uh, you can check that out on my unreal engine tutorials so we are just concentrating on nanites and uh, landscape layer play painting here so as you can see uh, you got a lot of uh, reflections here we don't want that so and we need the nanites here okay nanites and displacement here there is no displacement it's just just showing the normals and uh, ambient occlusions only we need the displacement here so just just close that and select the landscape here and uh, type uh, nanite <coughs> so you will see this enable nanite just mark that and uh, we have to rebuild that okay so yeah nine eights are working but uh, we have to do a change here we have to go back here and uh, type uh, nine eight here so we created a value here like uh, 0 0.3 i think that's not enough i'm going to type one Yeah, but uh, it seems like it's too high, so I'm considering 0 0.2 and hit apply. Yeah, this looks good for me. We don't need the specular value here. Okay, I'm going to put a simple zero value there. Hit apply. Right. all right so this is the easiest way uh, to create a landscape painting in unreal engine 5.7 so i'm going to elaborate one more time we just created uh, we just converted a material attribute to uh, make material attribute use material attribute here we just converted the uh, mass material to material attributes and we'll just bring landscape layer blend here uh, which uh, we had a two texture coordinates here and uh, we brought we bring another make material attributes two times and it's we just connected all the uh, texture, texture units according to the names and uh, we just connected uh, texture coordinate and multiply it with the parameter value here so we could control everything in the instance here and uh, we will add the 
uh, instance in the uh, instance to the landscape uh, uh, landscape material here here and we just uh, painted the material by choosing just picking uh, just select the material here and we can easily paint the value here see so this is the easiest method uh, to create a landscape and uh, do the landscape painting here on Unreal Engine 5.7 so thank you for watching this video I hope that this video helps you to find uh, how to do the landscape uh, painting on Unreal Engine 5.7 Again, uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel and do hit the like button. And uh, again, thank you for watching. This is Ashanta Domain signing off.